The gym, a place where you can fix your mental health, your physical health. It just serves as therapy for the most part, okay? What on this world, what in this world <laughs> cannot be fixed by the gym? In this video, I'm going to be taking you through my week at the gym. I'm going to show you some of the workouts that we do. As uh, somebody who is a bit uh, new to the gym, um, I'm just going to take you guys through everything. I will be showing you upper body workouts, lower body workouts, and also full body workouts. I got this video idea from some people and I decided to go through with it because it's relatively new to the channel. So I hope you guys like it. So this is me stretching. My coach was trying to teach me how to do some intense stretching because we decided to film as just an opening act i guess and uh yeah his name is Xion. he does a really good job i won't even lie to you when i say i was really shy when we we're filming this thing because a lot of people were just looking we had a tripod and everything so it wasn't just the regular okay somebody should hold the phone and move around you while you're working out so when i was doing this one i actually almost fell because <laughs> i couldn't uh keep my balance i don't know if you guys have noticed but my legs are not exactly straight i have what nigerians call <laughs> what nigerians call k leg so yeah this is us doing a deep squat um it went on for longer than you're going to see on the screen actually and after this we went to the leg day workouts which by the way is one of my worst days at the gym So I am loading the barbell, barbells I guess, with 10 kg of weight plates and I'm doing it so diligently as if I'm actually interested in what I'm about to do here. Nobody should laugh at me because if I catch you laughing, I will send you to jail. My form is not perfect and this particular workout is very difficult for me. I don't do it often. Please pardon the tripping, the blurry uh, effect on my screen. I don't know what was going on with my camera. So I think I did about 10 reps of this. My trainer was on my side to make sure that I did not injure myself because this thing is hard and I look you find this clip a bit embarrassing but I'm just going to put it here regardless because I mean it is what it is. We all start from somewhere, okay? <laughs> my god, what a horrible form. <laughs> okay so now we're moving over to this workout i'm just going to give them the names i want to give them okay so i'm going to give this one a half i'm going to call this one a half squat half bending down you people don't even mind me i'm doing this voiceover based on vibes because i don't want the video to be anything too too serious so i did about 10 or 15 reps on each leg for this one that's 8 kg kettlebells that i'm holding um, like I said, leg day is not my fave, but I just have to do it regardless. So when I was done with that, I moved over to this one. I don't even have a name to call it right now. But when I tell you that this particular thing is very challenging, it looks like it's so easy. Like, oh, just use the dumbbell to go up and down. But if you don't get your form right, the way your waist will hurt. As in all the other girls that were doing this one because she also trains other girls with me so sometimes we do similar programs and everybody was just like please can you just change this thing it is so difficult I remember the first time I tried to do this thing I almost cried because I was like I wasn't even getting it right and my form was not good enough so we are trying something different with this machine and we're trying to figure out where to place our camera. That's why you can see us talking here. Um, this one, I will just call it the sitting down, standing up thingy. <laughs> so, so when we're filming this one, about four guys were right in front of me. Like they were literally looking. You can see where my camera is placed here. There's four people, there are four people, sorry, behind my camera just watching me and I was so shy. I was just like, but I couldn't start telling them, oh, please don't watch me. I'm shy. So I had to just suck it up and be a big girl and just get on with it. It was really difficult because it's kind of like doing two in one. You know, you squat and then you stand up and then you bend down and that's one. So it's like two in one.
look at how somebody is just sweating like a christmas chicken because of because of ordinary leg day it is well <laughs> Right, so we moved over to hip thrusts. I believe that's what this is called. I actually know what this one is called, I think. And I was trying to get my form right here. Shim was trying to help me. And I think we were going to start with 20, but we decided to go with 40 instead. So that's the weight plates. One of the plates is 20 kg. So I have to hold it and then push my waist down and then push it back up. So that's basically what hip thrusts are about. So I'm showing you one set now and I'll show you the second one. The second one we had to use about 60 kg which was crazy but yeah. So here I was seriously thinking about my life because I was like, hmm, can I do this 60 kg thing? Because one thing about me at the gym is that I know they do pass myself. If I cannot do it, I will tell my trainer that I cannot do it. But this time he was trying to push me out of my limits and I said, okay, we might as well just do it. So the thing about hip thrusts is that they are, it, it will hurt your glutes. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be working for your glutes, I guess. The thing about trainers is when you say, oh, okay, I can push myself beyond my limits and do this thing, they will never reduce that weight. Even if maybe you carry 10 kg today, tomorrow you carried 15, the next day they will never allow you to go back to that 10 kg. And I guess like it's a good thing. So yeah, that's 60 kg and I use that to do hip thrust. I almost died. So this is my gym colleague. Her name is Choma. I thought I was filming and she said she would say hi to you guys. So that's her saying hi. So finally, the last thing we did for leg day was leg press. I don't particularly love leg presses, but I have to do it regardless. I just don't like leg day in general. So this is about 30 kg on each side and I was trying to push it and not lock my knees when I was pushing out. So my trainer was trying to ginger me because he knows that I, I just dislike leg day so much. And I also kind of find this machine to be a bit embarrassing because you just see curves like looking around and you like your legs are open it's just a very unpleasant experience so now we're moving over to upper body day which is my fave so we are starting off with a warm-up this is just me lifting whatever this thing is called i'll just call it the raise up your hand thingy <laughs> so i think that's about 10 or 15 kg it was quite light and i did 15 reps of that so you can see how easily i'm just pushing it up and pulling it back down because this was just a warm-up okay it was nothing so serious about it Next up, we have the chicken rose, and that was about 20 kg, I think. So initially, uh, I started with ginger as per upper body day is, you know, my favorite day at the gym. And when I was getting to the 11th rep, I started increasing my reps from 10 to 15. So when I got to about the 11th, it was more difficult for me to raise it up to my tummy area. But yeah, it's just one of those things. So now we're coming to this particular workout. I don't know what to call this one. Um, this one is actually one of my favorite workouts at the gym. So I was able to get different footages from different angles for this one. So I just tried to mix and match it when I was editing. And it's actually one of my favorites. Like I just really enjoy it. Despite the fact that I don't think my form was perfect here, but it's interesting. So fun fact here, I was actually in my period and I was in pain, but I decided to push myself through it because some people used to say, oh, if you work out, the pain will reduce in as much as, yeah, I feel like that is partially true. I just think not everybody has the capacity to do it, but I was trying to 
form wonder woman so <laughs> i just went through with it at least i wasn't doing any lower body workout so it wouldn't be weird and safe to say it actually made me feel better so the one you just saw before this one i call it the gorilla rose okay I will move over to this new one. Wow, I look really tall here because I'm not even standing on the platform. <laughs> um, this one, I also enjoy this one. Um, although I was holding it the regular way, usually it's easier when you hold it with your arms under it. So we move over to the next one. This one is like pulling your body weight, but this machine is supposed to help you if you're not able to pull your body weight manually. So it's to me it's easy and I just like the burn that burn or that that sore feeling that your arm gets after working out I just enjoy it like the pain is actually sweet I don't know how to explain it to you guys So now we move to doing this the in quotes reverse way so this is also for the arms but it's supposed to be like for the back of your arms so i was just pushing up and pulling down this one is supposed to be more difficult than the first one but i enjoy this one way more than i do the first one See how serious I was looking. Somebody would think I'm one <laughs> I'm one person that has sense now. Um so we move over to the next one. This one I call it milking the cows because I just feel like it looks like you're milking a cow. <laughs> so um I did about 10 reps of this the first two times and then I progressed to 15. This one is for the arms as well. It really, really burns. Like this one really burns, and I'm happy that I've able, I've been able to increase my weight over time. So that's basically it for upper body day, and this is all the footage I was able to get. So we move on to full body workouts. This was on Saturday. Typically on Saturdays we usually do full body workouts, but um, today we started off with hip thrusts and then i think we did bench presses and then we did some other things for abs but i'm just going to show you about three so this is 20 kg um of hip thrusts and we increased it i think we increased to about 25 so i'm going to show you that as well usually for full body day we just do the full body workouts all together and not you know in parts of upper body lower body and then abs but we just took a different approach this particular day Okay, so this is where we increased it to 25 kg. I think we eventually still increased it more, but I wasn't in the mood to make a video and I was frankly just very tired. So I am just showing you guys this part and it's easier with this machine. Like I, I love using machines a lot because I just feel like it makes it a lot easier for you instead of trying to stress yourself and trying to prove a point. So now we move to bench press and again we're using the machine now bench presses are really difficult especially if you're not doing them often and this is about 5 kg on each side which is 10 um i've never done in fact this is my first time doing a bench press so it was kind of difficult it looks easy it just looks like okay just push something up and pull it down but bruh it is not and this is me using the machine so i can't even imagine how difficult it is for people who just do it manually So I think I did about 10, 15, I mean, was it 12? I think it was 12 reps of this one. So now we move, <laughs> we move to the 
whatever this is called I don't know what this is called though, but show me all of us do it um the other girls beside me did it as well the person filming this video did it as well so this one was actually kind of fun you know it was it was a bit interesting Fun fact, I love the gym on Saturdays because it's relatively empty. People really don't come on Saturday evenings. So yeah, after this, we moved over to planking. Now my planks are not very perfect. I'm still learning how to plank well, but it is a process. Okay, I only just started the gym in January. This is April. So I think I'm making some kind of progress. That's basically it. I was trying to get the planking form right. That's why you can see me moving a lot. That's basically, that's basically it for this video. If you guys want another one, maybe I will do another one but for abs because I didn't really include our ab videos here. They weren't so good enough. The lighting was not good. So I just didn't want to put it with this vlog or with this video. Let me know if you guys like the video. If you do, leave a comment down below. And let me know if you're going to be going to the gym as well. Tell me what you just think. I just want to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.